Hello everyone today, blanket in progress. I half diagnosed in this brown blanket a year ago. I'm talking about year 2020. And I'm talking about early, maybe January, if I can guess. In March 2020, we got a house and we were moving over here and we were moving over here. We had we were so busy with everything, and I did not even have a chance to take it out and knit. On, on, on the other hand, if you go and check my videos, you may notice I was stuck in knitting maybe hats and socks and designing a sweater. I put the quite a huge now working progress into this box because you may notice that under that downstairs, I'm actually upstairs, I have IKEA shelf that I'm just sliding boxes with yarn on my projects, everything like that. So uh, everything should look tidy and I'm knitting stuff. So I actually kept things over here. This video will be only to brag and show you how much I have done and actually I haven't pulled it out for a while. The pattern as it says is a Bits and Bobs blanket by Kay Jones from Bakery Bear, Bear, Bear podcast and I'm going to put the link down below and um, I got into the blanket cake very 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 late. You may notice this channel has been started in 2014 and I broke my wrist I think twice so when I'm crocheting it kind of clicks so I know everyone kind of more often would crochet a blanket but when this pattern kind of was released I knew I want something like that in my life using leftovers although now I'm using all the leftovers to knit socks and I'm, that's probably why I stopped <laughs> knitting on this blanket so so far I've done that much that much. I think in any stage, if I want to make a skirt from this, I would probably able to. Yeah, even a dress, not even a skirt, no. Over here. But my plan is to maybe finish it one day and have it as an extra, or maybe to have a cover over here. So maybe one day you will see it behind me stretched nicely. And I would probably need another, another half like this. I, holding a finger in, I'm holding a fingering weight yarn double. Like I said, I'm using leftovers from friends and so on, so on. And, but I have to have a main color and that color is a gray. This is Drops Fable 115. I wanted to add a yarn, commercial yarn into it because I knew that the length of this amazing experience of knitting this blanket will be too, will be very vast. I think that's the word. So that would mean that I may need to restock the color that I'm using. And I think the closest color you can get in that situation will be from commercially yarns, not from indie dyes because you, if you're planning to knit a sweater get yourself a proper batch of the color and even mention that while you're purchasing that you want so many skeins because you want to knit one item from it. So as you can see it's beautiful I'm kind of running out of leftovers so we shall see how it goes um, and probably I would have to wait for cooler weather. It's still kind of cold, but we're lucky and our house is, it's quite contains the heat. Um, so I don't have to put anything on it. And that's probably, I did so much when we were renting because the house that we were renting for almost 10 years without, I think three months, um, was very, very cold. That's why you probably would see me wearing hats all the time, sweaters all the time. And even knitting on a blanket. So I finished at the moment on the green. Let me know what kind of blankets have you been knitting, if you have ever done knitting. In regards to this blanket, what I've done, because it wasn't included in the pattern, in case you make mistake and this beautiful stitch, this one, if you make mistake with this stitch, what to, to fix it. So maybe on the screen and I'll put it maybe over here in the eye for you. So check it out in case you're watching it later or something happens and you need to uh, know that, fix that, which basically what I do, I drop stitches and I just pick it up with a hook, so crochet hook. I haven't knitted on this blanket for a while and actually if something like that would have happened, good that I have this tutorial because I don't have a clue how to do it, to be honest. <laughs> would have to look at myself. And the needles, and the needles over here I have, as I said, 4.5, so I don't know, is it USI 7? 6 is 4, so maybe 7 is 4.5 millimeters. And these needles, needles are on 150 meters. So 100 meters is 40 inches, so I would say 60 inches cord. And I was so lucky because maybe three years ago in Knitcrate added a set like that, or set, like 
these needles into the knit grey box and they are chagu sharp and I loved. I won't be taking any more of your time. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next one. Check the description down below. Maybe there's something you'd be interested in and bye. Mm -hmm.